Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what happens if I refuse to take FSTs? Interestingly, when they ask you to blow into a breathalyzer, the cops not only have to tell you that you have a right to refuse, but they actually have to fill out a notarized form indicating that they provided you and complied with Florida's implied consent law. But that is not the case with field sobriety exams, meaning you have an absolute right to say no to taking FSTs, even though the cops also have an absolute right not to tell you so. Still, just as Sir Isaac Newton pointed out in his third law of motion, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. There are consequences, and of course consequences can and do cut both ways. If you agree to take field sobriety exams, then based upon nothing more than the officer's subjective assessment of your performance, you're either going to be handcuffed and taken for breath testing, or theoretically, you'll be cut loose, permitted to get into your car and drive away. And that does happen on occasion. But if you refuse to take FSTs, then there's an excellent chance that you'll simply be handcuffed, thrown in the back of a squad car, transported to the police station, and offered breath or possibly even a urine test. Why? Because if a cop asks you to take FSTs, then for whatever reasons, be them right, wrong, or indifferent, that police officer already had it in mind that you were driving under the influence. And so your refusal to take FSTs is probably going to result in your immediate arrest. Significantly, though, what your refusal will not result in is it will not arm the police officer with sworn rhetoric about how you couldn't follow his simple instructions or how miserably you failed his exams. Also, unlike refusing to submit to breath, which does allow the state to argue a consciousness of guilt, meaning the state can actually tell a jury that the reason you didn't blow into the machine was because you knew if you did blow into the machine, then the jury would have a breath card that proves that you were legally intoxicated. But there's no such inference from refusing to take FSTs. The downside is you'll probably get arrested on the spot. That said, thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.